Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Uh, before I started this part, I made a little part that you'll see in the next video of me basically going to every Kong College and Monkey Museum and buying out all the hints and tips just to show a little bit later. So if you're wondering about my, about my coin count going drastically down in this part, that is why. Anyway, let's start. K Rule Duel. Holy moly, he's torturing poor Donkey Kong. This game is definitely not kid friendly. Anyway, grab the cannonball, jump over him, wait for him to use his vacuum cleaner gun. Yeah, his gun is like some sort of multi tool apparatus thing. I have no clue, but it is an incredibly versatile evil gadget and it can make all sorts of stuff. But anyway, the objective is obviously to shoot the, or throw the cannonball into his gun as he's trying to suck it in whichever cannonball that might be Ugh! spikiness of doom I'll always start with uh, Diddy first just in case because Dixie is by far easier to use in this fight than Diddy is so if you're going to uh, use any monkey it's gonna be uh, Diddy first because yeah you just want to save the best for last to survive as long as possible I should be ducking under the high ones break the barrel throw it in there we go that is the most versatile gun I have ever seen <laughs> and he switches sides even like a rocket launcher now he's how, how are these bouncing that they don't have any rubberness to them like springiness they're metal. <laughs> ah, do not question game logic this late in the game. I do not want the universe to implode. Otherwise, otherwise this part will never, ever see the light of day. Oh, come on! <laughs> These, they're not, they're not light as air either. They're metal. Okay, I got, I really gotta stop questioning these things. Careful. Ah, oh, ah. Very old. Jeez, very careful. Barrel, please, thank you. <laughs> Sucking in. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, and you always gotta jump up jump over the cannonball as he's getting himself blown up there. But that's instinctive after a while. It's nice that a Donkey Kong barrel appears after every uh, cycle of that. Oh, these blue ice things, they freeze you when you get frozen, shake. Oh, oh, I, oh wait, it's the jump button, excuse me. Shoot! My mistake. Good thing the Donkey Kong barrel was there. And jump over him like so. And I'm gonna switch just to be safe. Yeah, you have to jump over him while he goes invisible now. <laughs> he is one extremely versatile boss. Uh, these make you go really slow, dang it. Uh, when, you, when this happens, try and jump over two at once. Yes, okay. That's not too bad. The purple ones, however, are the absolute worst, of which you'll see shortly. Uh, they reverse your controls. Oh boy. Maybe I should like... <laughs> Let's do a... Yeah! Switch! Switch! <laughs> Gimme cannonball! No! Wait, where's the cannonball? Oh shoot! I forgot this last part. He tries to suck you in! No, 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 no! Where is he? Where is he? Oh, no, 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 oh. no, please give me cannonball. Yes. Where are you? There you are. Yes. And I think it's over. Yes. Woo. There's the last bonus coin. Yeah. <laughs> But why couldn't he have done that all along? I mean, come on, dang it! <laughs> and he's fish food. <laughs> to Davy Jones's locker he goes. Oh, come on, now that's, that's preposterous. I barely looked at any hints. Well, I suppose uh, Dixie is a new character, but Diddy's a veteran. Unless you're just saying that uh, Diddy is a uh, novice too. And then again, I, I mean, Cranky isn't really the kind of person, well, monkey, or gorilla, <laughs> that uh, has very much confidence in us, so yeah. Oh, in the lost world. 
Gotta do that level in this part. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> I think he's gonna evaluate how many coins I've got at this point, but yeah, he is. So I won't have to show the differing uh, ending a little bit later. Uh, although I'll probably put up a little screen cap of a differing thing here. Uh, you'll notice that there's Earthworm Jim's gun and Sonic the Hedgehog's shoes over there down by the No Hopers. <laughs> yeah, I guess Nintendo didn't really have much faith in them back then. <laughs> or they were just like rivals or something at the time. But this is a little uh, Easter egg screen to evaluate your progress. There's no way you could have all 40 Donkey Kong coins at this point in the game, but it, it's just something funny to see. And I'm gonna put up the uh, screen right about now that shows what happens if you don't have enough to even make third place. You'll see Link there at third place. So there's another little cameo appearance here. I definitely could see Mario playing through this game quite effectively. Alright! Cast of characters in this sort of fake credits of sorts. <laughs> and this is where you can actually see all the uh, enemy names that I've went through already. This is especially helpful for um, those swanky quiz shows, basically Swanky's bonus bonanza and whatnot. And they divide them by land, sea, flight, stuff like that. It's a nice little thingy that they do in Donkey Kong Country games to give, make you a little bit more knowledgeable of the critters you defeat. Oh, Mini Necky? I thought they were just named Necky. Hmm. I was close, dang it. <laughs> well, they are smaller than your usual Necky, so I guess that makes a lot of sense. You know, even though that Screech is an enemy, he doesn't actually hurt you unless he makes it to the finish line before you, so I'm not really sure if that's enemy-like. I mean, I guess it kind of is, because uh, I, mean, I mean, he hurts you indirectly if he wins the race, but still. Ah, the Puff Top. I have no idea how I managed to take so many hits from those things. <laughs> I am just baffled by that. Then there's Snapjaw, the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that version of it. That's in the uh, stuff like Slime Climb and whatnot. And the Crocodiles crossing the bridge to the Lost World, I guess. <laughs> where Where is that rope being hung from? Is there like another helicopter above this thing? He's not, he's not jumping very high there, he's just doing like bunny hops. Ah, uh, This really brings back memories here, seeing the, the silly stuff they set up here. Because as I said, it's been a long time since I've uh, uh, beaten this game and you know, like went through it and stuff like that, so it's been a real nostalgia rush through this thing to uh, encounter stuff again and you know, relive the stuff I had to play through in ye olden times of gaming. I, I shouldn't say have to play it, no one has to play video games, but you know what I'm talking about here, you know when I had the, the game and I played through it and whatnot. Ooh, spooky, so spooky. Is, wait, what? Are you, you're, you're not an enemy. Well, I, I you're, you're, never, you're never listed on any enemy list, so, I mean, maybe they consider it an enemy, but hmm. he seems rather helpful, you know, he just seems to want some coinage, and he doesn't hurt you when he knocks you away, when you attempt to fight him. Anyway, the bosses is the reskin of Clubba, of course. That is one big B. I would not want to encounter that in a dark alley. Then again, I'd, I wouldn't really see very many bees in a dark alley, you know, well, I guess maybe they would if they found like a spot to make a beehive or something like that, but you would never find a beehive of that magnitude to be able to fit bees of this size, I should say of this game's size, in there, and yeah, I'm just kind of spouting randomness here as we're looking through the critters. Uh, how... <clears throat> kind, of, kind of think of it, how did they manage to put the sea enemies on land? Like, they, they would need water for them to swim through. They can't survive on land. They just like that, like that. How, how how does something like that survive on land? And how does it travel on land? I'm okay. I'm questioning the game logic again. So this is not a very wise thing to do. In all honesty, 
Good old Funky. One of the silliest members of the Kong clan. Or Kong family, whatever you want to call it. Arr, arr. <laughs> I thought I freed him! Dang it! Well, he kind of freed himself, but I mean, you know, I went up to rescue him, he popped himself out of the ropes. And... Oh, I thought he was going to do something special. I thought... Or maybe he's going to come back and do something. Oh! Credits! Credits! Yes! I can now say this. These people made the game. I did not. I just made the walkthrough to help you out as well as entertain you. Plus to show off this awesome game, of course. Ah, yes. If it weren't for these people... None of this would be possible. Well, sort of. Maybe someone could make this game, like, if the Donkey Kong franchise wasn't copyrighted and uh, they just had the idea and they threw it together and it wasn't made by Nintendo. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's, like, Donkey Kong Country hacks out there. You know, like, how they have Super Mario World hacks? That's something I never really looked into before, is Donkey Kong Country hacks, if they exist. They probably exist, because people uh, tend to make level editors and whatnot at, uh, late, later on after a game uh, is out of circulation and whatnot. And I've been saying whatnot a lot, haven't I? <laughs> Uh, this game is rather glitch-free, so the testers did a pretty dang good job, I gotta say. <laughs> Nintendo power! Nintendo power! Oh, the sadness. So, so much sadness. Of them going the way of the dodo. But alas, most people get their news online. <laughs> you know, gaming news and stuff like that. Aha, I didn't say whatnot that time. I said stuff like that. And Rare, they split from Nintendo years ago, but they made some awesome games on Nintendo systems. Some of the best games of all time, actually. Shigeru Miyamoto, of course he's there. He's gotta be there, I mean, come on now. <laughs> and Rare once again. I think the credits are coming to a close here. The end. And now, I think it's going to take me back to the title screen, actually. Yes, and that also means my life counter, as well as the um, uh, banana coins I've collected. All are going to reset. Great. <laughs> Alright, what I'm going to do here before I uh, uh, go back to the save files, I'm going to copy this. Just for the sake of backup and whatnot, just a walkthrough tip of sorts. Anyway, I'm going to start the save file. And go to the Lost World, because I only played one level this part, and I can extend this part a little bit more just because of that. Clubhouse Kiosk, the final one! Oh yes, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. You know the pain of that level off to the right. But first, Monkey Museum. <laughs> uh, as I stated earlier in this part, I bought um, all the stuff here, so I'll be showing that later. I just wanted to come back here to see if he had anything different to say. And here we go. Animal antics. May Arceus have mercy on your soul. <laughs> this is easily the most difficult level in the game. And... Well, it doesn't start out difficult, but it's fun to jump through the enemies and stuff. And there's uh, spikes down there. You can't jump on spikes with Rami, by the way. Just so I would make a mention of that. And wait a second. I heard... A Donkey Kong barrel way at the start. Where, where was a Donkey Kong barrel? That that's kind of important here because I'm I'm all reset. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> I, I was expecting to see it up ahead, but it just never happened. I stopped hearing the chirp of a chimp. All right, 
Now we can move on. Now, the Rami section is not all that hard. It's the future sections that are coming up here. That was just to give you a little taste of what's to come. As I, as this level is called Animal Antics... Oh, jeez. You have to switch animals as you go through the level. And there's one section for each animal. Here is the On Guard section. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think there's something... Off to the right somewhere, yes. Rare logo. Oh. It's just something that I remember because of Lockjaw here hinting at stuff. Alright, switch path. Ow, come on! <laughs> Why do I always take odd hits with on guard? It just doesn't make sense. I mean I'm I'm dashing forward. Maybe maybe what happens is that I am dashing forward to, and it's just like I run out of dash just as I'm colliding with an enemy and then I take a hit from it. And needless to say, go really slow in that section. You do not want to be yeah, ambushed by shrapnel. Eh. By the way, these lockjaws are really fast. This level has the toughest versions of enemies in the game, so be wary of that. Uh, fish out of water, no. Nope. Next is... Squitter. Anything here? No. Well, oh, no, there's something there. Checkpoint! I'm not doing too shabby. Maybe this level isn't as bad as I thought. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Because <laughs> I know the squawk section is coming up. The squawk section will destroy you. You'll see why. Even if you don't have much issues with the other ones, the squawk section is what makes the level one of the toughest levels in the Donkey Kong Country series history. Try and snipe them while they're off screen, that kind of helps a lot. Um, I'm gonna stay above everything. <laughs> I think I'm actually looking for something in this section! I should have tried to yeah, use that, <laughs> but I panicked, I admit I panicked. Oh, jeez! <laughs> well, luckily I hit that halfway point. Rematch. Although, my since my life counter is uh, back to its old self, I gotta be a lot more careful. Then again, the, the first part of this level wasn't all that bad to get through. So I guess it's not that big of a deal until I get to the squawk section. I could have just uh, grinded for lives by playing Pirate Panic and uh, going in the captain's cabin, grabbing a life, start selecting until I got a bunch of lives, but eh, it just seems... It's too much work. <laughs> I don't really like grinding in any video game, so I'd, I'd rather um, just replay the first portion of a level, because... Wow. <laughs> okay, maybe I should go back to the land. Uh, go back to the land spot and just snipe them as they're coming on the screen like I did before rather than trying to go over them. But yeah, I really don't like grinding in video games. This includes uh, level grinding in, in RPGs, especially level grinding in RPGs actually. You know, like turn-based ones. Uh, <laughs> they are the bane of my existence. Let me down, please. Dang camera. There we go. I was, I was actually pushing towards the edge of the screen, and it wouldn't let me move on because I was too high. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna think of it, where is... Donkey Kong Barrel? There's a coin down there. Maybe I should be collecting some coins at least to uh, be able to save my game. Because, as I said, my coin counter reset too, and I'd like to save my game at... Uh, um, Kong College, once I finish this... <laughs> Alright, making it. I am making it. I am doing this, and I think this is the spot I'm looking for. Yes! The only bonus area in the game. Destroy them all! And I will destroy them all because I have limited chances to do so. This bonus area is really easy to access if you uh, catch that little ledge up there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it after I crop the video, but yeah. And squawks. 
Yeah, they even make you switch animals in the uh, bonus area. It is the gimmick of the level, after all. It's animal antics. And they're gonna make me switch back over to Squitter, of course, because Squawks would break the future portion. And there we go. Woo! Now I can enter this barrel, and... Here we are, the squawk section. Well, not quite yet. But you can see the leaves blowing. You know what that means. Oh, yes. Oh, that was close. Oh, I'm not looking forward to the wind. But it's gonna start once I enter the squawk's barrel. There it is! And not only is this wind invasive, and it throws you off, but it reverses direction. And I just want to see what's over here. Yeah, it reverses like this. Just be careful and watch the leaves. Oh! <laughs> That's the difficulty of this section. Oh, jeez. Oh! I'm not go That's not worth it. That's not worth it at all. <laughs> oh, jeez! It switched too quickly for me to react. I gotta watch the timing. Oh. That's where I could have gotten a Donkey Kong barrel. I am stupid. Yeah, it looks like I made it here with a hit. I took one back at the Squawks section. I mean, um, Squitter section, like early on, but I managed to get here without taking a hit. As I was going through the brambles... <laughs> I took a hit from that same one. No, no, don't go through. Don't go through just yet, though. No. Uh, eh. I don't know which way is correct. <laughs> Careful, do not touch the D-pad too much to control... Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should show you um, how I managed to do this last time. So I'm not going to cut there. What I'm going to do here is uh, show you the, the best way through this that I found. Just take these jumps here and then just kill off them. And just carefully move forward while shooting upwards. And you'll just keep sniping them along the way. Over here... You want to get really high, really fast, and then go straight across, like so. The reason why is because all the zingers will go under you, and yeah, I'm taking this a lot more carefully than I need to. Just saying. <laughs> and see, there's the last one, the super fast one that sniped me before, and there you go. Back to the squawk section with the Donkey Kong barrel, should you need it. All right, and here's how I got past this. Let's try and shoot stuff off screen. If, oh shoot. Dang, Xbox D-pad. <laughs> I was pressing up left on the Xbox D-pad, or at least thought I was. Oh no. Just carefully go through it. No need to rush. There you go. Well, there I go, but that's how you do it. I mean, that's how I do it, basically, to get here without taking a hit. It's a little time-consuming, but it's worth having a hit for uh, this section here. Okay. Let's the switch. And I... Oh, come on! If it's not the dang zinger, it is the brambles. <laughs> Wind is not your friend here. Eh, eh, eh. Carefully, carefully, shoot! Yes, I made it! Oh, thank you! Yes! Okay. Oh, oh, stresses! Oh, no! 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 Jeez! <laughs> Such a mean level, and I'm down to zero lives. That does not make me happy. Squawk section. Round, what is it, like four now or something? I don't know. 
Alright, now what can I do here to avoid taking a hit? I guess that. It's so hard to control, and I mean, it looks, it looks like the pathway is so wide, but it's it, the wind is just so debilitating to your control. I know there's Donkey Kong Barrel here, so I guess it's okay. Okay. So, I mean, th this would be no trouble whatsoever if the wind was not in play here. Oh! Okay. Not doing too bad. Just letting myself drift downwards. And since I'm not carrying a monkey, I kind of have the issue of... Ugh, being able to take hits from landing in the thorns on my talons, and... Hey, come to think of it, I haven't showed the game over screen yet, have I? <coughs> have I? No. So sad. But you know what's especially sad? I gotta replay that level. <laughs> wow, the first part of this level, I mean, up to the squawks barrel, Really, really easy to get through without dying. Alright, well, if you know what to do, of course. Yes. Yeah, but oh, I was going too fast. Okay, carefully cough up eggs through region of death. Oh, <laughs> that was a silly death. Here we are again. And I will cut to the spot each and every time if I need to, to prove that I can do this spot with- uh, Without you guys thinking I'm using save states or something like that for this. Because, you know, I'm still using an emulator or something like that, and if I use the save state, you'll be able to see it pop up on the screen, because I'm recording the screen and not recording- Why did I go for that barrel anyway? That was stupid. But anyway... I've done it before! I can do it again. Oh, I hate that shift in wind! <laughs> it's just so... so... Oh, it's so hard to control, that little shift. Wait, oh wait, maybe I should just let myself drift through... Oh. When it shifts, I mean, when the wind shifts, it seems like it feels better to just let go of the uh, D-pad. And what happens is that you don't get pulled along with the wind. Uh, oh, by the way, what, is, what happens if I, like... Oh, you can actually re-transform into something you're already transformed into. That's interesting. Anyway, back to the squawk section. Squawks. Wind. You are. My greatest enemy together. Oh! Uh, uh. I definitely like rushing that spot because... The zingers are in just the right spot, and yeah. <sighs> I don't like that swarm of flitters. That is by far the best use of flitter I have seen this game yet, as an obstacle, I mean. Go switch, okay. Release D-pad. Let it switch direction. Switch. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, I've got a hit. <laughs> that doesn't make me any feel any better, though. I know I'm close, though. Oh, that's not worth it. Oh, no way. You serious? Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh! Wait, I think there's something here. Okay, if I, I just remember that. Bradley, you're the last section. Please, PK Cam, don't die. Alright, gotta get myself out of this pit. And carefully. <sighs> I am a nervous wreck right now. <laughs> this is fun, though. <laughs> Alright, gotta ride the zinger. Riding the zinger. Just gotta be careful. This is basic platforming right here. Oh, oh wait, wait, is that it? I think that's it. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh. 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 And with that, it opens up.
the final area in the game, of which I'm going to do in the, la in the next parts, which is going to be the last. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.